Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 87. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 90 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2 And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It is windy out there. It is crazy. My, I had to run out to Hobby Lobby for something and my, the back of my hair was in the front of my hair when I got home. <laughs> and this is the last time with my hair like it, it is. It is the last time. This I'm excited. I'm excited. Tuesday, 1.30 p.m., please be praying for me. But we're not going silver, we're going highlights. We're going a lot of highlights. A lot of highlights. To try to help transition pretty quickly. I also don't know what kind of haircut that she's gonna I don't have want to do. A, I don't want a haircut. I, I want it just like this, but highlights. Well, you know. I should get a say. You get a say on this. On your beard? Yes. Because well, if it was up to me, it, it would come off. Well, it's annoying. Our children have also voted for you to keep the beard. Well, that's great. It's almost but Christmas. I know, but it's Santa? annoying. And I, if I've got to keep it, I want it to go pure white and it won't go white. I want it to be white. Aw. Are you so. doing that in solidarity with me? No, I just like white beards. I think they look distinguished. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so yeah, it's super windy out there. I think we're like on the outskirts of like a tropical storm. It's been windy all week. We went camping last week and it, it wasn't was... windy at the campsite because there were lots of trees around Thank us. Thank you, Lord, for but trees. But getting over there and leaving, really a lot of trees. It a was, lot of wind, rather. It was funny. Today, I was cleaning out the chicken coop this morning and all of a sudden, I think because of the change in pressure, you know, animals are really sensitive mm -hmm. to that. I guess Naomi got panicked and she just couldn't take it anymore. She jumped in my arms. I mean, I was standing up at the time. She jumped in my arms and just immediately went to sleep. Nice. Like, I need a hug. She's a chicken. Right now. I need this right now. But you did bring in eight eggs. Eight eggs today. Well, I mean, some of them I think from last night. A couple of our chickens lay in the middle of the night. Like every once in a while, I hear somebody <coughs> literally me. at like two o'clock in the morning, God bless you. Thank and you. And like making noises, they just made a chicken and made an egg. So yeah, somebody is laying like super late at night. Let's get into this. This is going to be a busy keto on the couch. I have a list here. We got some deals. deals. I got a list of deals. But before we get to get, well, let's do the deals first. Okay. So I got a whole list of them. Kroger, if we don't have Kroger's, but if you're a Kroger, Lily Bars, buy one, get one free. Can somebody send us a Kroger? But if you have a Publix, Lily's baking chips are buy one, get one free. Okay, now we're back. So there's two more deals. We don't have to totally miss out. Um, Nush, if you use the code Nush. stock up, you get 20% off. On everything? Yeah, that's Cookies, just what it says. Pancake mix? 20% off if you use the code stock up. Nice. Um, if you have a Publix Greenwise, not the Publix's, the Greenwise, which is kind of like the Publix version of like Fresh Market or Whole Foods. It's kind of how like Walmart has its own not super market. I mean yeah. like just a supermarket. Yeah. Uh, so they have Kettle and Fire, buy one, get one free. But, but not at the regular Publix, wow. at the Green Wise. You gotta go to the Green Wise for that huh. deal. They're hard to find. Yeah, they are hard to find. So uh, then what else do we have? Advent calendars at Chalk Zero just came out. We actually just bought two of them for our nephews. Shh, we're not supposed to tell. Well, they're not gonna see this anyway. Maybe they are. Maybe. But, Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Elijah. But yeah, so we just ordered a couple of those. They're gonna sell out quick. So if I were you, I'd go get them. There's a link down below. And you can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos to get 10% off. They're $15, but you get 20, I think it's 23 pieces of candy in there. I actually think that that's I think very it's a pretty reasonable. Good deal. Yeah, especially because, hey, we want our nephews to enjoy a nice chocolate advent calendar, but I don't want to give them all of the sugar and stuff. And they have both milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Now I got them milk chocolate. Yeah. But I, I did order a dark chocolate for us. You really shouldn't have told me that because then I would have been a surprise. Well, that's okay. Okay, and then, um, oh, flavor of the week for Keto Chow is going to be vanilla. 
So this that's is the base. Super like that is versatile. a really good one. You can mix that with so many different things. You can use OOO flavors. You can mix it with the skinny syrups. You can mix it with other flavors. I'm actually surprised it's going on sale. Yeah, it doesn't go on sale very often. Because I didn't it's ask super, him like when the last time it went on sale. Super was, popular. What's your favorite mix-in? If you use vanilla keto chow, what's your favorite mix-in to change the flavor in any way? I like OOO drops. Out of curiosity. And then if I have it over here, because I'm hiding this, this is the end of it. You got the buttered maple pecan. They went on sale yesterday. Probably so already sold out. I don't know if they're sold out, but it's worth a check. Go look down below. Prediction. And you can get sold those because these are so good. Like I'm buying at least a month's worth of supply. So, and then um, I think that that is all of the deals that I know of. But the Evan calendar. There That's are... It. Already a lot of small appliances and grills. Thank you for reminding me. All that stuff. Like, don't wait for Black Friday. Like, those the sales are happening right now. The best Black Friday deals are right now. This is what these companies do now. They start putting them on sale for like a week before. Then they go off, like off sale the week before Black Friday. And then Black Friday, they have the deals again, but they're not as good. I've learned that over the last few years. Like Best Buy, Walmart, they put their best deals on like three weeks before Black Friday. So. Right now. Start this week, actually, right? You're, if you're looking for the smaller Blackstone, the 22-inch Blackstone, I'm kind of bummed about this. They have the 22-inch Blackstone with the hood and the stand for $99 on November 14th. But it's an in-store only deal that starts on the 14th. And I I just bought the 17, the 22-inch Blackstone with the hood and the stand for our camper and I paid $170 for it. And I can't even go buy this one and return it with my old receipt because- Slight difference. They've changed it. This has got a different stand. This one has wheels on it. So, you know, hey, my loss is gonna be somebody else's gain. Somebody's yeah. gonna get a great deal because you can't get the grill alone for $99. No. If you go to their website for Blackstone, that's like a $220 deal. So that is an awesome, awesome deal. So if you're looking for a 22 inch Blackstone, one person, even two people, it really is the perfect size. I have recently, you know, advised that a, a honeymooning couple get that mm -hmm. because they were, um, a friend of mine was looking to, to do more cooking as like a date night opportunity with her husband. And I'm like, get the Blackstone because right. somebody can be cooking the hamburger and somebody can be cooking the cauliflower rice and yeah. you can do a bunch of things at once. As much as I liked the 17 inch and I think the 17 inch is good if you have very limited space for for like camping the pop-up camper or maybe you're going tailgating i like it but there's two things i don't like about the 17 inch the grease trap is on the front it's got that little cup and we found it was just a pain to clean there was always grease inside of it and also it's a single burner so the middle gets hot the edges are kind of not as hot so what i like about the 22 inch one is it's double burner so you can have one side a little bit cooler than the other side. Double so you can do that, you know, cauliflower rice on one side, bacon on the other, or bacon on one side, kind of cook it most of the way, turn it off, and then do the burgers on the other side while the bacon stays kind of warm. So, it's so cute for couples. It's really good for couples. So yeah, those are all the deals that I know of. Now this is something new that we're adding into Keto on the Couch. So what we're asking you guys to do, if you come across deals, Post them in our Facebook family group. That's yeah. the best way we're gonna see them because what we do is right before we film this, I go through our Facebook family group and I find everything and we're looking for any deals that are good during the week of the new Facebook family, of the new Keto on the Couch. <laughs> so you're talking about basically Monday through like Publix starts their new sales on Thursday. So right. when you see it from us, you've got three days to get in. So. If you know of any deals, just let us know on Facebook Family and then we can keep putting them up here. We like to share all of the deals. Yeah, and I have a feeling there's gonna be way more coming. There's gonna as be the good deals coming, especially on like on keto products. Like I know Perfect Keto always has an awesome Black Friday sale. Keto Chow usually has some kind of a Black Friday sale. So everyone's gonna have sales, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel so that you can see all those. Okay, um, we got some mail. Got and then mail. we have our keto brick giveaway we have to do. I'm excited. So you want the mail first? Yes. I have two pieces of mail. Do we want the good mail or the bad mail? What, is there bad mail? There's bad mail. 
What's the bad mail? Let's. You want to do the good mail first? Yeah, let's good do the good news first. <gasps> well, we don't like to toot our own horn, <laughs> but we will toot Steve's. Steve, Steve from thank Instagram you very much. I don't know how I'm going to mount this thing, but I'm going to figure this out. A train horn. This is an actual train horn. Th I'm I thinking like a truck train horn. Like this isn't. I'm going to mount this thing. This is a Leslie super super de fun. I don't know, but this is going to be awesome inside of my trailer. Our neighbor. Our truck. Thank you very much, Steve. I may just convert my regular horn to this, and every time I have to press the horn, this is what people will hear. Man, every red light, right? Can you, like, I don't even know. Can you hear me? This is kind of awesome. Yes, I can. Can you hear me? So, thank you very much, Steve, for that. Thanks, Steve. You, like, made his life. And here's the funny thing. I was the one for once that had to go to the post office to get the yeah. mail. So I come in and I'm like carrying this thing and the back of my hair is in front of my hair because it's so windy outside. And Joe was like, oh my goodness, I thought maybe there was an envelope. And I'm like, no, there's a train horn. Yeah. Speaking of mail, okay. again, we're getting close to our 12 days of keto and our Christmas tree. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna decorate our Christmas tree with ornaments from our subscribers. We're gonna make another subscriber Christmas tree. We're gonna feature each one every time they come in. So our address is down below. Go ahead and send us anything you want. And it's based on the theme of? Victory. victory. Whatever is says victory to you. So it could be an ornament, it could be a picture, it could be something, whatever you want. It could be the V from, remember the old mini series, Victory? Oh, or V from Visitors, Vendetta. Vendetta. <laughs> Okay, now on to the bad mail. You say bad. It's bad. Anything from a subscriber is good, sir. So this says, hi, 2KK. First off, let me say thank you for all that you do. Wait a second. Bad mail? Let me get to it. That sounds like good mail. You have both helped my sister and I lose a combined weight of 110 pounds. That's freaking awesome. Both of our labs are better than ever, and my blood pressure meds were cut in half. Wow. I didn't even see this part, by the way, when I opened the envelope. I do only you, saw the other side. Do you feel like you suck a little now? No, I don't. My non-keto hubby and I love hubby and I love to watch Keto Fear Factor. So we thought we would send you something. Oh, Rachel, here's the bad thing. I'm very sorry. I had to. Uh oh. Apologizing. If it is not keto, or if you just don't want to try it, and I don't blame you. I give you permission to skip this. We, we are not allowed to. We, that is the rule. Anything that you guys send us. We've got to try. We've got to. Now, if you haven't seen any of our fear factors, I will leave a link for the entire playlist right over Rachel's head. Uh-oh. So she said, thank you for featuring me on an episode of Keto on the Couch. It gave me the motivation to keep going. Oh. Love, Myra. Joe, I'm so excited. She sent us imported wild-caught squid in ink sauce. And just like that... My attitude changed. <laughs> wow. Wait, squid? In ink sauce. Squid in ink sauce. Squid in ink sauce. Mm. I, I don't even know what to say. You know what's the horrible part is? It, I'm sure it's perfectly keto. I'm sure it will. Perfectly. Should we look? There's two servings in this whole can. Mm, no, there's, there's si plenty of. Six grams of fat, seven grams of protein, five total carbohydrates. Hey. None, but it's squid. None from sugar, though, hon. None from sugar. Well, none. there is one gram of sugar. This is keto. I don't know if we're going to be able to eat this. I don't know how we're going to eat this, but we have to eat it. That is the rule. Let's do it. The ingredients are squid in sauce prepared with sunflower oil, tomato spices, and salt. Maybe the sauce is going to be amazing. I don't know. You guys are just killing me. I mean, some Thank of these you things so that we much. are getting. But the only thing is... I, I do appreciate it. I am tickled so much to get that letter. That The letter like, is awesome. I will I could have done without the present, but the letter was delight awesome. Delight in the squid sauce squid. <laughs> okay. Um, keto brick giveaway. I'm excited about this. Okay. So we're giving away some keto brick. I love giving away stuff. So... Every once in a while, Robert and the gang send us some keto bricks. Yeah. And uh, we're giving them away. We just give them back to you guys because I buy my keto bricks. So Pay every it month forward. I buy, like, I'm buying like literally 30 keto bricks tomorrow. So yeah. uh, we give these right back to you guys. Cookies so and cream. So what do we have? Cookies and cream. We have the original mocha. Toasted almond coconut. 
Um, I don't. I love these new packages, but I don't know. Chocolate malt, my favorite. My, one of my favorite. My number two, peanut butter. Coconut cream. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have the new flavor because they'd only sent us two and I ate them both. Sorry. So. Well, we got a little bit left over, but no one wants that. Yeah, but that's why I keep hiding it. So, okay, let's uh, switch everything over to... Pick a winner. Pick a winner. We got fetch. Anything goes. Anything goes. Ooh, look at this. 227 comments. All right, who's gonna win? Margie, Margie Ellis. Ellis. She said, I just subscribed to Two Crazy Campers too. Congratulations, Margie. So Margie, here's what you need to do. You need to send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. Send us your shipping information, your um, name, obviously, and your complete address. Mm -hmm. We will send this out as soon as possible. And thanks for subscribing to Two Crazy Campers. Yeah. Appreciate that. Really appreciate it. So we will get these out. Make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. And again, whenever Robert Take and those. the gang send them to us, we like to get, give them back to you guys. Pass them on to you. Are you ready to get into comments and stuff? Yes, but first let's take a commercial break. Okay. Hello, <laughs> and welcome back. Do you like my new mug? I like that mug. The Office. I, I said that you're supposed to have a Two Crazy Ketos mug. But I loved this show, and when I saw this, this was a Halloween sale. I got it for $1.47 at Walmart. I, I mean, couldn't pass it up. You can't get a Two Crazy Ketos mug for $1.47, so I guess you kind of exactly. got Exactly. The so, Office is way cooler. It cost me more than $1.47 to ship a Two Crazy Ketos mug. I know, so what a deal. Okay, you ready? So before we get into the comments, we're going to talk about our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. Uh, now, if you're new to our channel, this is somebody who posted something either on our Facebook group or in the comments from last week that was super inspirational. Thanks. Are you ready? Yeah. So this week's is Lisa. Hey, and Lisa. And I actually have it here because it is a little long. So awesome. she wrote, so can I vent? Yes. I know everyone here is on their own keto journey and I am no way the keto police. I went on YouTube looking up Instant Pot Keto recipes when I came across one with the words keto friendly. Aww. Um, it was an Alfredo recipe, so I'm watching said video, and there are no spoken instructions, just loud music, which is a pet <laughs> peeve of mine. As I'm watching, she's putting ingredients in one at a time and gets to flour. Not almond or coconut, but regular flour. Uh -oh. There was no use almond or coconut or keto alternative anywhere in the video or description. I comment in place of regular flour, can I use a keto option as almond or coconut flour as regular flour is not very keto friendly. The woman replies something to the effect of, this is lazy or dirty keto. Uh, I know plenty of lazy, dirty keto friends, and they are not using regular flour. So I guess what I'm asking or saying is, am I wrong? Because to me, it's irresponsible to post a video as keto friendly if it is not. Um, or am I being too anal? Wow. Okay, so um, the reason I kind of picked this was because it just kind of brings to our remembrance we always have to be paying attention to ingredients. Always. Just because something that says it's keto friendly. Keto on or it. Or <laughs> it's low carb, whether it be a recipe or it be a product, you've got to, got to, got to look at ingredients. So no, flour, even putting a little bit of flour in there, it's going to cause some issues. Is it gonna spike your blood sugar? Maybe, maybe not, depends on how much, but it can cause some inflammation. We just want to avoid those grains. Plus, you don't want to just allow some of that stuff to trickle back in. Most likely, I didn't see the recipe, they're using the flour as like, you know, a, th a thickener. Yeah. Well, you can use guar gum, you could use xanthan gum, and you could use cognac flour for all that stuff. So rather than using even coconut flour, I would look at some of those things. So try to figure out in these recipes, you know, the different things. But it is a kind of a pet peeve of mine as well. Like. When people put, like, this is keto, and you're looking at the ingredients, it's not. As a matter of fact, there's something right now, along with the carry bold gold at Costco. Okay. Is like some kind of, remember we, you, you pointed out to me, they're like little clusters. Yes. It's like keto clusters. And I was like, I remember us looking at that. And Number actually, two ingredients, cane sugar. And buying it actually once and having to take it back because we totally fell for 
the label on the package. It didn't even yeah. say keto friendly. It was, you know, saying, hey, I'm a keto product. And we were like, awesome. We've, right. we've found some great keto products at Costco. So we just like grabbed it right off of the shelf and put it in our buggy. And once we got home and looked at the ingredients, we were like, wait a minute, this isn't right for us. And that's the biggest thing too is, is it right for you? Right. Because we can be different. And we always say, even if we do like a blood glucose test on something, do it on yourself. Check Everybody's yourself. Everybody's body is different. Yep. Especially with the recipes. So even with the recipes, and that is a pet peeve, like I said, of mine as well. But one of the things with recipes is even when you do see people put the macros, make sure when you make that recipe, you're putting it into chronometer and dividing it up because everybody uses different ingredients. Like I may use Kirkland brand almond flour and you may use a different brand and the nutrition facts could be different on that and that's going to change the nutrition. So I never take somebody else's word for it when they have like, this is say two carbs per serving because also how many servings are they getting into that? Like right. a cheesecake, like I've seen recipes where like it's one carb per serving. I'm like, that's not quite possible. But when you look at it and it says, well, there's 25 servings in this cheesecake. And I have to think to myself, I am not going to get 25 servings out of this cheesecake. I'm going to get more like eight. eight. Yeah. <laughs> eight servings. So just make sure when you're making all of these recipes, you want to break it down yourself. So thank you very much for that. Also, thank you for not naming the channel. I really yes. do appreciate that. We're not looking to bash anybody, but we are just trying to bring to everybody's you know attention. Make sure you're looking at the ingredients in these recipes, not just the fact that it says keto friendly or something like that on exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. So now we do have a subscriber of the week. Yay. And this week's is Wendy. Hey, Wendy. So Wendy says the picture on the left was from several years ago, pre-2012. And the one on the right is, of course, from Saturday night. I would never have worn anything like that in my unhealthier days. I cannot wait to see this. Oh, my Lord. Look at you, hottie patati. Wow. Wendy, you look incredible, girl. Man, I'd be wearing that every single day. I for, knew you would like that forget one. Forget Halloween. You need to be wearing that every day. I yeah. knew you would like that. Congratulations, Woo. Wendy. Hottie. You look awesome. Yes. Okay, let's get into some comments. We only have a couple of those. We're going to go right into comments. We'll take another commercial break a little bit through. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay, so first one is from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer said, you are both inspiring, and I truly feel you guys are friends. And I know that's silly since we've never met. I love your idea about having something special for Patreon, and I would like to join. I'm curious, is that going to be for any level Patreon? First yes. of all, Jennifer, it is not weird that we're friends. Like, we, I, I love that. I was talking to um, our kids this week about, like, how it really feels like family. Like, I talk to everybody online and it's like, yeah, you guys are our friends. That's right. I absolutely agree with you. So uh, yeah, for Patreon, I'm going to be making those changes this weekend, probably by the time you guys see that. So there is a link for our Patreon down below and the um, Zoom slash, probably going to start off with some live streams and then also add in Zoom calls, but the live streams will be for any Patreon member, whether you're the $5, the $10, the $25, we're going to do a live stream just for our Patreons. And then we'll probably also add in a Zoom call for some of the higher levels. But we're going to be changing all those rewards up over the next day or so. But yes, the live streams will be for all levels of Patreons. And those of you who do support us on Patreon, we really, really do appreciate it. It really does help us keep the channel going paying for the internet, paying for like the different lights and cameras and things like that. Ready? Mm -hmm. Sparkly Susan is the next one. Hey, Sparkly Susan. She says, Rachel, your arms are so toned. You guys are awesome for my newly started journey. I would love to try those keto bricks. Thank you for your real, honest, down to earth content and fun. Well, thanks, Susan. You like how I put that one in there so that you would read the one that compliments you? I knew. I knew with your hair, you wanted to hear some compliments. So. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate that because it has been a week. Like I ha did not anticipate how, um, I don't know, like 
anxious I would be about this next step. And it's sort of like when you get married I'm and, excited. and then you buy the dress and every single time you take another step, you're like, this is getting real. Like this is about to happen. And I feel that now. So I'm really glad to just honestly be thinking about something positive because I'm a little anxious that I'm going to look old. So how bad would it be if when you come home, I just ignore the new color and don't say like anything. Like I don't say you look bad and I don't say you look good. I just act like there's no difference. How bad would that be? Well, I would, well, that's the kind of the joke for husbands, right? That right. like, no matter what you do, like the guy doesn't notice. You're pretty good about noticing things and finding something positive. Cause there's been some bad haircuts across <laughs> this marriage, like just bad haircuts. And you're always like, oh, I think that that would look really cute with a bow in it. You didn't even notice that I shaved like half my beard off today. I did. And you know why I noticed? What? Because it's all over the sink. It's all <laughs> over the sink. And talking about like saying things or choosing not to say something, are you super proud of me? I am super proud of you. That I didn't come home and like scream you that. You just didn't have a chance yet. There is a new pet. <laughs> That is spread all over our our counter. Well, it's our better than if I would have done my back. Oh my lord, <laughs> it's not not good. Okay, next one is from Dawn. She said, hey, "I Dawn. laughed out loud when Rachel said I gave up cheese. Pause for six hours." That's about the length of time that I can give up dairy. So when we went camping last weekend, we stopped in Arcadia on the way home. We were talking about this on our live stream. And we found this little like meat slash produce mark, which I saw that your great aunt sent us a better place to go that we're going to hit the next trip. Yes, I'm so excited. Well, we got two packages of cheese curds, which I love cheese curds. We got a dill and garlic one and we got a ranch one. I think I got two pieces. Yeah, there's none left. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's none left. I tried both flavors and then I was like, oh, I think I want another bit of that dill one. And yeah, no, no I finished that up last night with dinner. Noticed there was none on your plate. There was none on my plate. <laughs> you got the frying cheese though. Thanks so. Which for some reason did not fry up like a normal frying cheese. I, I don't know what happened there. I don't know. It was the same exact, just a different brand. It but was hot, but it didn't like. It didn't fry up. It didn't fry the no, same. But yeah. I love cheese curds and those cheese curds were so good and that's kind of what makes me not give up cheese. But I do feel like I need to do like, I just to see how my body reacts, I should do a week of no dairy with the exception of butter. I would not take butter out of the equation. But again, when you're doing no dairy, butter is almost all fat. So I'm not really worried about the little bit of dairy that would be left in that. So you're making your own cheese advent calendar. What what is the what are you leading with? Swiss. Really? Yeah. Out of all the cheeses out there. Swiss is probably my favorite cheese. You think Swiss is the best? I think Swiss is the best cheese. And it's one of the healthiest cheeses. What do you and think? Parmesan. I like getting chunks of Parmesan and just biting it off. I like the taste of Parmesan. What do you think is the best cheese? Yeah, what let us know down below. What is your favorite cheese? What is the best tasting cheese. It's got to be like, you know, sort of keto friendly though. I mean, I've had some good cheeses like those ones with like the cranberries in them and stuff, but there's a little bit too much sugar in those. Does goat cheese count? Goat cheese is a cheese. And I, that's keto. I would say I like goat cheese yeah. probably the best. Followed number two for me is a very sharp cheddar. And I like cottage cheese. Love cottage cheese. Well, that you, is a cheese. Please don't put that in an advent calendar because that is just going to be a mess. Let's move on. Next one is from Brianna. Hey, Brianna. She said, I had to take dairy out of my diet completely. It doesn't make my stomach upset. It doesn't hurt my digestion, but it causes inflammation. So that um, just a little bit makes my hips and back hurt. If I eat a lot, I can't jog or walk and I get terrible vertigo, which really messes up my life. One piece of cheese makes me gain a pound overnight. Wow, I'm so sorry for that. Well, you know what though? If you know that, that's a good thing to find out. Then, then yeah, it's not worth it. That is so not worth it. That's why I'm saying, like, I feel like I should do a week of no cheese just to see how my body reacts. You're afraid but of the I'm results. I'm afraid to find out that my body reacts really well to it because I just don't think I want to give up cheese. But Brianna, I think that's brilliant. Yeah. Congratulations on giving it up. Yeah. You know what? Let's take a quick commercial break before we move on to the next one. 
Hello again. Okay, so next one is from Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Dawn said, good morning. I wanted to tell you to check out Consumer Reports November 2020 issue before Joe goes to stock up on polar water. It's the second highest for PFAS. Number one is Topo Chico. We dumped lots of water after reading this. Such a bummer. But if I wouldn't drink it based on the article info, I wouldn't want anyone else to either. Have a great Florida Aww. morning. Well, thanks for thinking of us, Don. Yeah, we really do appreciate your you know, mentioning that. I was aware of the study. My personal feeling on it is I'm not letting it bother me. Um, when you really start researching that report, um, it, the amount that they're talking about is like the equivalent of one gram to an Olympic size swimming pool. And you know, there's lots of other things that I'm consuming that are worse than that. I mean, if you've ever drank any kind of water out of a plastic bottle, you're dealing with chemicals. So I, I kind of want to fight my battles where I can. Some people want to not have them. Some of them, some people don't mind it. I kind of let everybody make their own decision. But personally, for me. I don't let it bother me too much. I just like that when somebody thinks of something, they, they let us know. I do appreciate Thanks that. Thanks for caring about us. Okay, so next one is from Laura. Hey, Laura. She says, how long did it take before your pain got better? Okay, so I, I answered this in our Facebook group, but I figured this was a good place to talk about it because Great. I'm sure see, maybe somebody didn't see it. Because for some of you who don't know, if you haven't seen our video on like why we started keto, which I'll leave a link for that over Rachel's head, um, I had a severe car accident a long, I'm, I'm trying to think of how long ago it is now. I guess it's 30 years ago. That's a long time. So yeah, it was, it was 30 it's an, years ago. It's an adult ago. It was 1990, so it's almost 31 years. And um, as a result of that car accident, I shattered my ankle in several places and I spent two years on crutches and I've had severe arthritis. And honestly, right before we started keto, we were investigating getting ankle replacement surgeries, only we were finding out it was gonna be a year recovery. And the problem with that was like, basically I would be bedridden or I'd be at least in a wheelchair yeah. while I was recovering. And I was during those 30 years, or now 27 years, I guess, taking painkillers, arthritis medication on an almost daily basis. It was a very painful thing. And then I started keto, did not know of all the side effects because nobody was really talking about. I guess no. you say it's a side effect, but it's a side benefit, really. It's not an effect. It it's, really should be the lead. It should be the lead. That's why we talk about like get healthy and then the weight loss comes. Well, I was doing keto for weight loss, not knowing I was going to get healthy. And um, it took me about five months before I realized I didn't have any pain. Yeah. I didn't have any pain almost at the beginning. I would say within a month, but I didn't realize it. But I do know that if I, when I look back, I never refilled one of my prescriptions within 30 days of starting keto. Well, and that's the thing. So I think people who are starting keto now are looking out for health improvement in a way that we were not. We right. were looking at the scale to tell us what our progress was. Right. But now I think, you know, be on the lookout for how you're feeling. And it's kind of like, um, I kind of liken it to when you have, you know, a good experience at a restaurant or a grocery store or something like that. And if you have a bad experience, you make sure that you let them know that you had a bad experience, but you don't always let people know that you had a good experience. Right. That's when you why have I a... don't like listen to reviews. Like when you look online. So we almost have to look back to think, when did I start feeling well? Right. Almost immediately. But every day that you didn't have pain, you didn't go to bed thinking like, wow, I had no pain. Well, one of the problems with it is, is when you're unhealthy, like when I first started keto and weighed almost 300 pounds, you're in not in tune with your body at all, no. right? You're almost in a denial. At least I was in denial. I mean, I would look at myself in the mirror and be like, yeah, I'm heavy, but I'm not that bad. And then you would put on the clothes and be like, well, wow, my clothes don't fit. But the scale says the same it did, you know, a while ago. And because you were in denial. And so you're not really in tune with your body. Like I had no idea that even though the scale wasn't going up, I was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And I just went into denial by wearing like basketball shorts and bigger shirts and things like that. 
Well, I think it's the same thing. When you're so unhealthy, you don't even notice all of the little aches and pains. Rachel would always make comments like, how did you cut yourself? I'm like, I have no idea. I never even felt myself like get sliced with a razor down my arm or anything. Yeah. I just was in denial of that stuff. I didn't notice it. I wasn't in tune. Now, I'm really in tune with my body. Like, I can come home and be like, wow, my elbow hurts, my electrolytes are off. Like, I know like that, yeah, that something is wrong because now that I'm healthier, I'm much more in tune with my body. Same here. I think that, you know, 100 pounds ago, I just always felt a general sense of blah right. and yuck. Like, there was no way to differentiate what the yuck was from. And now, I think a non-scale victory that we really don't discuss enough is the ability to discern when one ingredient like dairy or right. like a seasoning will make you feel good or bad. And that way you really can fine tune your keto journey because right. you can identify. It's not just like you overall feel terrible all the time like we used to 100 pounds ago on the standard American diet. Well, you even think about it like pre-keto, we would eat ice cream and we would both get sick. Well, was it the sugar? Was it the chemicals in the ice cream? Was it the milk where it wasn't even milk, it was like chemicals? Was we, it the skim milk? Which no, one of them was causing us to not feel good? Or was it whatever was we it ate all for combination? dinner? Was it all combination? You know, you just didn't know. So yeah, I, in that long roundabout way, the best I can tell you is I probably really started feeling a lot less pain within a month only because I can look back and that's when I stopped refilling my prescriptions. Yeah. But it just kind of happens and you don't notice it. In a great way. In a great way. So next one is from Gail. Hey Gail. Gail says, Rachel, loving your hair. The way you have it today is so attractive. Love how it is framing your face. Oh my goodness, Gail, I love you. I really don't know what my favorite brick flavor is. I have not had all the flavors, maybe peanut butter. I loved how Rachel encouraged the new mom struggling on keto. Thanks, Gail. Gail is so freaking She's awesome. awesome. I love Gail. I love you. Oh my gosh. Okay, next one is from Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Rachel said, my nope. Because we asked everyone, what is your nope for November? Nope, November. She said, I am not going to eat for fun, even if it's keto foods. I'm only going to eat when I'm hungry. What a fantastic nope, because yes. I need to join on that one. Oh my gosh, sometimes just the holiday season is like, we're supposed to be jollier this right. holiday season, and jollier means like I've got to be chewing something. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Shanta. Hey, Shanta. She says, my family is saying nope to a lot of desserts for Thanksgiving. We're having one sweet potato pie. That is great. That is so brilliant. Yes, oh my gosh. Like how many times in Thanksgiving and Christmas past did we have a dessert table? It was a dessert table. It got its own table just like turkey and all of the fixings. So why don't we just have one or two desserts and end it? Yeah. I love that idea. That's Brilliant. Really good. Now, if you haven't put anything down, let us know down below in the comment section, what is your nope for November? What are you going to say no to? What are you going cold turkey <laughs> on for Thanksgiving? Nope. Okay, next one is from Keep Going. Hey, Keep Going. She said, every time I get below a certain weight, I sabotage myself. Is this fear of success? Who will I be if I actually hit my target weight and don't obsess about my weight anymore? I don't know, but in order to push past this, my note for November is going to be the scale. For the rest of the month, no scale until December 1st. This way, I can't see if I'm being successful to sabotage myself until I figure out what is going on in my head, if that makes sense. Oh my gracious, that makes so much sense. So yes, the scale is the devil, but I also have a very bad, unhealthy, love-hate relationship with the scale to have my own bad behavior because I will step on that scale if I see a number I do not like, then I'm gonna go and console myself with food, which is not helpful at all. If I get on the scale and I'm expecting to see a certain number and it's I'm under that number, it's almost like, wow, well there is the bad behavior amount that I have to go and snack and have permission to, to be bad and to eat right. more things than what is on my plan. So I think that that is the perfect nope November. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Like I'll look on that scale and like, oh, I'm down 10 pounds. I'm, it's okay if I go have a couple pieces of Chug Zero or something because I should reward myself. That's why we've got this thing that 
we no longer say in our marriage, you deserve this when it comes to food. Like, yeah. You worked hard, so you deserve a dessert today. Exactly. It's just like a bad, bad thing for us to do. Okay, next one is from Heath. Hungry Heath. He is going to be doing no veg November. <laughs> I love Heath. That's awesome. Yes, I can, can totally see him being like, yes, no veggies. No veggies. Okay, next one from our Facebook group is from Melanie. Hey, Melanie. She said, what are people's protein to fat ratio in grams? Okay, so we no longer really talk about eating like this much protein to this much fat. What you wanna do is figure out how much protein are you supposed to be eating? And the best way to do that is go over to Maria Emmerich's website, use her calculator because she's gonna do it based on your body mass and tell you eat this much protein. That is your goal. So if you're supposed to eat 100 grams of protein, you need to eat at least that much protein. You don't wanna eat less. You gotta eat at least that much. Most of us don't eat enough protein. The fat, you're gonna use that as a lever to get you full and get you to your next meal, if that makes sense. But yeah. there's not this like, hey, I need to eat 80% fat to 20% protein. We don't really do that as much anymore unless you're following a specific protocol, like maybe using like Robert's Deep or State Keto. Yeah. Or if you're trying to get, eat a lot of fat to get higher ketones for medical reasons. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Miranda. Hey Miranda, she says, I posted the other day about how I was really struggling to stay on keto and see progress. I was having a bad day. I was only focusing on weight loss. Today I watched Dr. Barry's live from last night. They read comments of people's success stories from the proper human diet. Even though I've only lost 15 pounds since May, I am sleeping much better. My mood is improving. I'm no longer on daily heartburn medication. When I used to wake up choking on my heartburn, it was so bad. I had developed plantar fasciitis in my right heel that I was limping so bad and couldn't even walk right. It's completely wow. gone. I have had some non-scale victories and my body is healing from years of bad nutrition and also recovering from having my third child. So I just need to be patient and keep going and I will will get there. Yes, you will, Miranda. That is so awesome. Congratulations. And just like you said, keep going. What we keep saying, we keep saying, focus on your health and then the weight loss is going to come because even if the weight loss doesn't come, look at all those awesome medical results. No more, like seriously, I've had that kind of heartburn that she's talking about where you almost feel like, wow, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. This mm -hmm. is so bad. And to not have to experience that anymore, I mean, what a blessing. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Kristen said, third time starting keto low carb and something is clicking finally. Very small, non-scale victory. Halloween, I had zero sugar. That's not small. Sugar has always been the hardest thing for me to give up. So this was a huge deal for me as my four-year-old had a ton of candy. That is no small I victory. I was going to say, like Rachel saying, that is not a small, non-scale victory. That is a huge, non-scale victory. And if you are passing your first Halloween where all of that Halloween candy is 50% off, 60% off or more, and you are not picking up a ton of that and bringing it home because it's super cheap. You can't look away from it. Right. That is a victory. That's right. Okay. Next one is from Melanie. Hey, Melanie. She says, when people say eat two meals in an eight hour window, don't graze. What is the time frame for the meals? Meaning, do I have to eat everything for lunch in 30 minutes, one hour, 90 minutes? Thanks all. Okay. This really comes down to your body. So when we eat, sometimes we're going to eat one meal. Sometimes we eat two meals. We do try to keep it in like a certain eating window. My personal thing is I'm not going to worry about it. if I if I say I'm going to eat over a six hour window, I may eat a little bit several times over the six hour window, but I'm not going to eat anything during the rest of the day. Right. You know, the t when I'm not within my eating window. So I may eat two times, three times, four times, five times in that six hour window. I used to be one of these people like I'm going to do OMAD and I've got to consume my whole meal in an hour, which we've even done challenges that way. Yeah. Now my feeling is I'm going to do OMAD and if it takes me two hours to eat that meal, then it's going to take me two hours because I'm eating one meal and then I'm not going to eat again for another 23 or 24 hours. Don't put pressure on yourself. Right. Eat comfortably. Like as I'm reading that, all I can think of is supermarket sweep, like trying to throw everything inside of your cart in like the fastest amount of time, be like, and you win. Right. So it's not a competition. Don't worry about it. What, you know, have your eating window and then eat 
in a comfortable time frame yeah, for you. Yeah, eat until you're full, and then if you. But my biggest thing is is try to get the amount of food that you should be eating. You don't want to like eat until you're full. If you're like me and you get full after say like eight wings, well, eight wings is not enough to eat for a day. You're going to end up slowing your metabolism down if you only eat eight wings in a 24 hour period. So what I'll do is I'll eat my eight wings and then I'll rest for like a half hour to an hour and then I'll eat some more of my wings. Rachel can eat more in a specific sitting than me. Yes, I can. It's just we're different. So you have to kind of go by your body, but make sure you're getting enough nutrition. Make sure you're hitting your protein goal. So if you get filled up with a four ounce steak, I would eat again maybe another hour or two hours. Make sure you get everything in and then jump back into your non-eating window. Okay, next one is from Angina. Hey, Angela. She says, a few weeks back on Joe and Rachel's Keto on the Couch Live, Rachel could not believe my age. I seriously could not. Well, I promised her a pic of me with my grandkids. I finally got to take one this evening when they came to see me for Halloween. Here you go, Rachel. Oh, my gracious. You are... I mean, the fountain of youth must be flowing through her faucets. Yeah. What a beautiful family, though. Thank you for sharing that with me, because those are some beautiful grandkiddos. Okay, we have one more, and it's from Loving It Keto. Hey, and I have Loving it, actually it on over Keto. Here it's, it's small up there. She said, Wendy here. Hey, Wendy. I know exactly what eating to low of calories does to your metabolism. I am 66 years old, and my highest weight was 282, and I had lap band put back in in 2005. It took me 14 years to lose 50 pounds, even with the lap band in place. After 14 years of eating only 500 to 800 calories, wow. losing a lot of my hair, having brittle nails, and a broken metabolism too. I had the lap band removed in November of 2019, so a year ago this month, and I have trained my body to accept more calories now than I have eaten in the last 14 years. Once my husband Harry and I found the keto lifestyle, I was able to lose an additional 50 pounds wow. by adding more calories back slowly to my daily foods and then also lose the fat, finally. My current weight is 176 pounds and I've lost a total of 100 pounds. Wow. Of which the keto 50 pounds was easy compared to the first lap band 50 pounds. Uh, I am now able to eat between 1,200 to 1,400 calories and still lose weight on the keto lifestyle. Now, I know this is still a low number, but I have to add the food back slowly because of my very low metabolism, of which I'm healing. I'm very full eating this amount, and I do not deprive myself at all. I'm working up very slowly and hope that my metabolism is healing well. The keto lifestyle helps me keep full and very satisfied along the way. Thank you so much for your inspiring and great information that you two give out every day. Wendy, thank you so much yeah. for sharing your story because it's really going to resonate with somebody yeah. because they need to hear how this works because I mean, it sounds weird. It sounds bizarre. And sometimes people think you, you lying, Rachel, like right. that can't be true, but right. it is like, I was the same way. It, the, the, Scale went up when I was on low calories and down when I increased my calories. And I'm so glad to have somebody else where you can see she had lap band surgery. Mm -hmm. That should have taken it off if right. it was, you know, if that was the way. But it, and it didn't come off immediately either. Right. So I love listening to that because, again, we talk about it all the time. And I even know that years ago, like, I was like, maybe I should just get surgery, right? Let's go the easy way out. It's not always easy. And then easy. you see things like that and you're like, oh, it's not that easy. No. Let's just work on our diet. And the problem is, is when you look at this diet, there are so many people are like, that's not right because it's ingrained in our head. Don't eat fat. You want to eat carbohydrates. Right. You know, yeah, pretty much everybody can say don't eat sugar. I mean, easier said than done when there's sugar in everything. Yeah. But... When you start looking at these things going, well, if you eat too few calories, you could actually start gaining weight. It's really hard to fathom. Yeah. So thank you for sharing your experience with everybody. Seriously, because that is a, such a blessing. Yeah. Well, that's going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have 86 more of them, which you can check out by clicking the link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we have a new keto on the couch, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next week. Bye. bye.